Hey guys, so I'm going to do a little screencast here about the linear regression group problem involving the sprinting times for the 100 meter dash uh, for the 20 Olympic Games. So the first thing you're going to want to do is enter the data into your list. So I'm going to hit stat, edit, and then I can see my list. So I would want 2008 for the first one and 2004. Okay, I'm just going to pause this, put them all in so you don't have to watch me do every single one. Okay, so as you can see, everything is in my list here. I have all the years in list one and all the times in list two. One thing you want to do is make sure that um, you have the same number of numbers in the list, in both lists. So going down to the end, and there you can see, well, it was brief, but you could see how there was the same number of numbers in each one. That's really important. Okay, the first part's asking you for the equation of the line of best fit. So we're going to go to stat, calc, and we're going to use option number four. And I'm telling it my x list, my y list is list two, and I want to store the equation. And I want it to go into my y equals area under the equation y1. So I'm going to hit vars, y vars, enter, and I'm choosing function 1. I could choose any of these, but since I have nothing else in there, I'm going to choose function 1. And then I'm just going to hit enter and calculate. Okay. Um, I do not have my correlation coefficient, which means that I need to fix something in the catalog. Just one sec. Okay, so if that ever happens to you, you hit second, catalog, you scroll down until you see diagnostic on, hit enter. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. Diagnostic on, enter, enter. Done. Okay, now when I go and do my linear regression, calc, four, I've told it, list one, list two, store it, vars, y vars, enter, enter. All right. So there it is. There's your correlation coefficient. So this is the answer to part B right here, negative 0.8845. And my answer to part A is y equals negative point nine zero or negative point zero zero nine seven x plus twenty nine point two four four roughly so that's your answer to part a now it asks you to find the center of mass which is the average of the x's and the average of the y's and it makes a coordinate so i'm going to go stat calc and i'm going to do two variable stats and I want it to do it on list one and list two. Okay, so here it has given me the mean of the x's, 1968.4. And if I can, oops, here it is. Mean of the y's, 10.146. Okay. Now, find the sum of the squared residuals. This takes a little more work, so I'm going to hit stat. Edit. So, in my list three, I want it to populate my observed values. So, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to use the equation that I stored in y1. Vars, y vars, enter, enter. And then parentheses, I want it to use the x values in list one subbing them into that equation and giving me my predicted values. Next, I want to have my residuals. So in list four, highlighting the name, residuals is observed minus predicted. So I'm going to go L2 minus L3. Okay. And then I want my squared residuals, so I'm going to highlight the name of list 5, and I'm going to tell it to square list 4. So list 4 squared. 
Okay, now I need the sum of list five. So I'm going to go stat, calc, one variable stats. I'm going to use list five. So second, five. Enter, enter. Okay, and here's the sum right here 0. 0.3375. Okay, part E. It's asking you to find the times that would have been in the 1940 and the 1944 games. So I'm going to quit this. And I'm going to use the equation that I stored in my Y's. So here it is right here. Okay. So I'm going to go bars, Y bars, enter, enter. And I'm going to say sub into that equation 1940. Let's see what comes up. 10.42. And then I'm going to tell it bars, y bars. Do the same thing again for this other value of 1944. 10.38. So I hope that was helpful for you guys, and good luck on your quiz.